Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal multiplication with area models. This is standard 5.3D in the great state of Texas. And we are using item number 10 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So George is going to buy three peppers for a cost of $40 each. The model represents the situation, so or 40 cents each. So it looks like this is going to be my 40 cents here. Each of these are going to be my 40 cents. There's three sets of them. And they do give us a key. So they want 10 rows down here. So this is a 10 by 10 grid. This is your 100 flat. That's going to equal one dollar. So we're trying to represent money, right? So each of these rods is going to be ten cents because there's four. So I'm going to say ten cents all the way across. There's four sets of ten cents right there. So I need to find an equation to show the total cost in dollars and cents of the peppers that he bought. Well, I'd like to be able to add, but we don't see any addition as our options. But let's just go ahead and take a look at adding. Right, because we could easily just add this and see see what we get here. So we get 0 0.40, 0 0.40, 0 0.40. Let's see what we're doing here. If we add these three, so that's 4, 8, 12. Let's make sure we bring our decimal down. And that's just going to be 1. So it looks like we're looking at H. 120, but how can we represent that with multiplication? Well, let's try this. When we've got 0.4, so let's do 0 0.40. Let's just try multiplying that by 3. Let's just see what happens. And so what we have here is 3 times 0, that's going to be 0. 3 times 4 is going to be, that's 12. Let's carry that 1. 3 times 0 is 0. Add that 1 back in. Hmm. Well, that answer looks like 120, which is looking a little bit more like G. So how do we put these two different items together? Well, let's see what happens when we actually add our 10 rods. And we'll see there is a trick when you multiply by decimals. So we have a 10 rod right here. So let me just put 10 of them together. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's my 40 cents. I'm just going to call that 0 0.4. Then I'm going to add another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a 0 0.4. Then I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to do this. Put 1.4, 0 0.4, make you see it right there. The reason I put that break is because, take a look what I have here. I've got 10 tenths, so that's going to be 1. 10 tenths is a whole, right? We're going to go back here, so there's my dollar. Because I've got 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents, a dollar. So there's my dollar, and then I've got... 20 left over. So it does seem like it's going to be that dollar twenty. So what do I do with this multiplication up here? Well, here is the trick with decimal multiplication. 